Good evening everyone, it's Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. We're going to have a look at the widespread significant rain event that is forecast to affect Eastern Australia this weekend and into early next week. Currently it's Wednesday the 19th of, of August 2015 and you can see the early signs of the system, the low pressure system here to the west of WA. This system is forecast to track across southern WA, down to the Bight, redevelop and come up into western New South Wales. The system is forecast to enter western New South Wales on Sunday and then slide southeast on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with the trough extending up into Queensland and very deep, strong, easterly winds cranking in over Victoria, thus bringing large areas of southern Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and parts of South Australia some good healthy rainfall totals at a time of year when it's very unlikely and, and quite out of season. We'll proceed now and have a look at a, at a few of the charts of the rainfall totals. This is the next four day block from today. As these um, the deep easterly fetch starts to feed into the trough system back in over the interior of Australia, We'll get onshore showers, okay, down the east, east Queensland coast, becoming scattered down into southeast Queensland by Friday and Saturday. And they'll ease back Sunday and Monday as the system comes through. We are expecting some scattered showers through southeast Queensland coastal districts in northeast New South Wales here due to the onshore winds. You can see that the trough in the next four days, the trough starts to, and the low pressure system starts to deliver some rain through South Australian parts particularly down along the south coast. If we have a look at the next four day block, this would be from the 23rd from about Friday or Saturday onwards. You can see there's some very healthy, healthy rainfall totals from the bomb by the way, some very healthy rainfall totals in New South Wales with up to 100 mils there for the four day period. Widespread areas of 50, up to 50. That also extends up into southern and central Queensland. See further falls, further lighter falls north of about Rockhampton to Longreach. But you know, there's, there's good signs here for large parts of New South Wales, southern inland Queensland, even extending into southeast Queensland later and northeast New South Wales later. We are watching this area here through eastern Victoria as the low shifts through and it generates quite a strong onshore shore, um, moisture feed there, generating rain and possible. possible with some possible flooding through parts of southeast New South Wales and eastern Victoria, but we'll get on to that. Another rainfall forecast chart. This one is from OCF, which combines a lot of um, models together to produce this, this um, outlook. This is for Saturday. You can see the makings of the system coming in through um, South Australia and entering in through western New South Wales here with 5 mil forecast there on Saturday. This is a conservative model, so you can ramp up totals. Sunday, things really start to pick up across southern parts of um, Queensland, New South Wales. Here you can see falls of up to 25 to 30 millimetres there in 24 hours on Sunday. As we progress through to Monday, the system then shifts towards um, eastern New South Wales, maintains a slow-moving system through southern Queensland, Delivering up to 5, 10, 15, 20 mils there. These are 24 hour totals. So they start to build up. You can see the um, system is starting to crank some onshore winds here into eastern Victoria and start to push totals up there as well. So we proceed through to Tuesday. The system slowly starts to move towards the east coast of Queensland and northeast New South Wales with 5 to 10 mils forecast there. Conservative, we could see a lot more than that. Scroll on to uh, the GEFS. This is another ensemble uh, rainfall outlook. This is a total for the system from tropical um, tidbits. These blue shaded areas are rainfall amounts in inches. So I can see a couple of areas there of up to two inches. Southern inland parts of Queensland, southeast Queensland, northern inland New South Wales and northeast New South Wales. Extending down the coast, 
you know, pretty much the whole eastern half of New South Wales there we could be, and Queensland, we could be looking at um, up to two inches or 50 mil. And we're yet to see what this system does here to eastern Victoria. Okay, so there's a lot of models on board for this system to bring quite a widespread rain event over the southeastern quarter of Australia in the weekend and into early next week. Scroll through the um, the pressure lines now and the synoptic charts with with some rainfall on them. I'm just going to move this up here a bit so I know which day I'm at. 4 p.m. Thursday, you can see the system, the trough starting to develop through South Australia. Onshore winds are coming onto Queensland, thus delivering a few showers down the coast, especially into southeast Queensland and north northeast New South Wales on Thursday. As we progress through to Friday afternoon, things remain relatively the same through Queensland, onshore winds, scattered showers, southeast Queensland. The trough has relaxed a little bit through South Australia, but it's going to fire up in, in um, New South Wales, particularly here on Sunday. There's the, there's, the, there's the low in the trough on Sunday, exiting out of South Australia into um, western New South Wales with good areas of rainfall extending through both states there, New South Wales and SA, maintaining onshore winds, Queensland. Sunday, yeah, wow, we'll zoom in on that and have a look. Large areas of rainfall from Longreach down and through southern inland Queensland, northern inland New South Wales, central parts of New South Wales inland, wrapping back around the low over southwestern parts of New South Wales and also down into Victoria. Sunday's a big day. It's looking good as that low tracks across. Very, very, very long fetch, deep, moist, easterly winds are feeding into this system. Quite unseasonal for this time of year to have them coming in there like that. Normally at this time of the year in August, we'd expect to see dry westerlies pushing through and um, very limited rainfall. A lot of these, these areas in New South Wales and southern Queensland will at least pick up their average August rainfall for the month and possibly exceed that. So good, good signs. And then further out on Tuesday, where's my Monday chart going? That was Monday. Yep, that was Monday. Sorry. And Tuesday, Tuesday the low starts to shift and slide southeast into southern parts of New South Wales. We get this onshore deep easterly fetch over Victoria and southeast parts of New South Wales, which we'll be watching closely for heavy rain and flooding there. The trough line, which extends north from the low, slows down over Queensland. So that's good news for us. It can might, might get a little bit more rain out of it, and it's not just going to come blowing through in, in um, 12 to 24 hours. If we proceed through to Wednesday, you can see the low starting to shift off the coast, still maintaining moist onshore winds there around southern and southeast districts. Queensland is edging towards the coast, Brisbane southeast coast on Wednesday next week. So it's a little way away yet. People along the east coast are going to have to be patient. This system will develop through inland parts and be the focus early part, well, late in the weekend, early part of next week before it finally shifts towards the east. These areas inland here need rain badly, as does many, many parts of Australia. So this is a good system. It's not drought breaking, but by all means, it's very welcome. Now, if we have a look here at our storm forecast charts, these are the charts that we produce. This is for Saturday. You can see the yellow areas are possible storms through northern and eastern parts of um, New South Wales, southeast parts of Queensland, they're possible. Um, the orange shaded areas indicate a moderate risk of storms likely, so central inland parts of New South Wales and northeast New South Wales there, with damaging winds and large hail a threat. If we progress onto our Sunday storm forecast chart, it backs off a little bit. Northeast New South Wales and northern inland parts of New South Wales there, storms possible. Sections from about Coffs Harbour to Taree along the coast, storms more likely with damaging winds and heavy rain a threat there. So we could see a little bit of heavy rain in some of these thunderstorms. On Monday, things start to amp up as the, as the trough moves through from the west. It starts to trigger the storms. 
We're also going to have rain areas as well. So these storms will be embedded in the rain areas. <clears throat> Yellow areas are a low risk anywhere from southeast Queensland inland, south of Emerald, up to Longreach, right back inland over southwest Queensland and northwest New South Wales, shifting north of Sydney. But you can see the size of the area there. Yellow storms possible. And certainly... We're looking on with interest through these inland parts of New South Wales and Queensland where storms are a moderate risk with damaging winds, large hail and heavy rain a threat. So we shift on to Tuesday. Those storm threats start to shift towards the east as the trough pushes through. Again, moderate risk in the area, orange area is probably our biggest storm day coming here. Might even get a chase in if it looks like it ahead from the Sunshine Coast. It looks like we could be heading inland. But again, these areas, are go we're going for damaging winds and heavy rain. The hail threat backs off because the atmosphere is quite saturated. So heavy rain becomes a threat with some flash flooding. All right, guys, you can support HSC by downloading our app from the Apple iTunes Store and Google Play, the, um, the Google Play Store there. We also have the new HSC membership subscription website, which is almost ready for launch. We're just tidying a few things up now. It's going to be very exciting, and you will have access to our membership area uh, where you can support us, and we will provide uh, video forecasts like these and in higher detail, plus maps and text to this site, to our paying members, and that will be $24.95 a year to get access to that. Exciting times ahead for the website. There'll also be quite a fair bit of free content on there as well. All right, guys, that's enough from us. Looking forward to the rain event upcoming, fingers crossed. We hope that it delivers what the forecast models are currently suggesting. Our next video update may be Friday. If things change dramatically, we'll do one before then, but we will look to do one around about Friday evening or afternoon. And then um, as we get closer, we'll switch to live events and start to cover the uh, the rain and storms in a live format as we, um, we would have already have produced our forecast. All right, thanks, guys. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.